Hey guys, Mitch here from Minifig Man Cave with another LEGO 2015 New York Toy Fair Thoughts video. Uh, in this video, we will be taking a look at Ninjago. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, first off, we have the brand new Air Jitsu Flyers, which are in a way like spinners, and in a way they're not like spinners. But basically, you've got a ripcord that you're going to pull, and then it'll send the Air Jitsu Flyer into the air um, with the minifigure inside, and um, basically, it's going to fly up into the air. And then it's gonna come. It's gonna be spinning in the air, and then it's gonna come back down and spin on the ground when it lands. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so first up, we have set 70739 Air Jitsu Kai Flyer. This set's gonna have 46 pieces, and um, all the Air Jitsu sets retail for ten dollars, just like the old Ninjago spinners from 2011 and 2012. So uh, yeah, we've got Kai here with some sort of symbol on his chest. I don't know what it means, but if you do know, please let me know in the comments. And uh, that's just the box for the Kai set. And then we've got the actual set itself. You can see a variety of weapons is included with each set. Um, and then the ripcord and uh, the little launcher and the flyer itself right there. And uh, yeah. And then next up we have Jay. Very cool. I really like all the... Uh, printing on these minifigures. Uh, you can see some different weapons there as well. Um, yeah, I also really like the box shapes for these, very unique. And uh, there is the J set itself. Also you can see that we've got these presumably printed tiles on each one, which is really cool actually. And uh, I do like those. Um, and these will be coming out in August according to the little things that hang from the shelves in New York Fair. But uh, yeah. Then we have Cole, and he's got some orange on him, which is really interesting. Um, I've never, seen, I don't think Cole has ever had any orange on him before, so it'll be interesting to uh, have that. Um, I guess they just need something to add to the black. Um, and also, if you see here, one of his weapons actually has an Urukai sword built into it, which is interesting um, to see those being used outside of Lord of the Rings. And uh, by the way, guys. Uh, you can see Kai has a red flyer, Jay has a blue flyer, and Cole, the flyer itself appears to be gold, which is interesting. And uh, there's a look at the Cole set. And he has a couple of sausages right there, which is, I'm not sure why. Next up, uh, we have the Air Jitsu Zane, which looks... I, I, I think this might... I mean, Zane is my favorite. He always has been. Um, so, yeah, I think this is probably my favorite Air Jitsu flyer as well. But, um... He's got the silver flyer, because he's the titanium ninja now. And, uh, it's interesting that they're bringing back, like, the elemental blades. I'm not sure if Cole had his now, but the other ones have, like, those elemental blades from 2013, which is interesting. Um, but, yeah, there is Zane. And, uh, there's a close-up of the set itself. He has ice skates, which is kind of funny. Do the other ones have? No. It appears that, uh... Jay and, I mean, Cole and Zane are the only ones who have, like, sort of accessories that aren't weapons, interestingly enough. So then we have Air Jitsu Moro, and Moro is going to be one of the new uh, villains for this, uh, way, for the Summer 2015 Ninjago sets. And uh, it appears he's going to have some glow-in-the-dark katanas with him, which is pretty cool. And uh, there you can see the set for him. He has a green flyer. He's got, like, a dragon type of logo there, which is pretty cool. And then we have the Erjitsu Wraith Flyer. Um, very interesting weapon right here. Uh, looks pretty cool. And uh, possibly a glow-in-the-dark uh, actual flyer piece, which is really cool, actually. But, um, yeah. So then moving on to the actual uh, like sets that aren't the Erjitsu Flyers, we have the Master Wu Dragon. So Sensei Wu finally gets his own dragon, which is pretty cool. And uh, this set's going to come with Sensei Wu, Cole, and then some uh, ghost bad guys whose names I do not know. But we've got a food cart, interestingly enough, in the bottom left corner. And uh, we've got one of those new minion thingies, like little ghost minions, down at the bottom there. And then we've got Cole fighting one of the bad guys. Um, and uh, one of them is floating up towards Sensei Wu. And Sensei Wu actually has his like teapot thing, which is pretty cool. 
because we haven't gotten that piece in that color before, and we, since it was never come with the teapot. Uh, as far as recolors go, also of note are the um, white Hero Factory Invasion from Below small beast feet, tan uh, unikitty details. Let's see what else? Uh, those like Hero Factory flame and lightning pieces and ice pieces and all that like that kind of piece in gold. That looks really nice. Um, really cool stuff here. I really like the brick built head as well. That looks really nice. And we got a husky in the background there at that little temple. And there's like these large shuriken things that appear to be the collectible items for this wave of Ninjago. Um, and I'm assuming that would be Cole's since Cole is the ninja included in the set. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so here we have the actual dragon. It, again, like I said, looks really nice. You got since I was sitting in a box on top, interestingly enough. And I'm assuming that a uh, round jumper in front of him is where he can put his uh, teapot. Yeah. And then we've got some of the minifigures down here. We got some discs, which I'm assuming there's a disc launcher built into the food cart there. Actually, yeah, that, you can see the disc launcher right there. Um, so we've got Cole down there, and you can see he's got. Uh, dark gray there. All the ninjas are mainly black with then uh, colors that fit, that uh, fit their elements uh, as sort of accent colors and he's got dark gray there so that's pretty cool. And then you can see the uh, new ghost minifigures. Really nice new molds and prints on those. I'm really liking the look of them. And then just another angle on some of the minifigures. And then next up we... Oh, and the Master Wu Dragon set I believe is going to be 60 or $70. I'm pretty sure. Um, next up we have the Ronin Rex. Um, this set looks pretty crazy, I must say. It does have an Air Jitsu launcher in the back of it, because you can see Kai there, uh, flying up, doing some Air Jitsu right there. And, uh, you can see there's one of those shuriken thingies, presumably Kai's shuriken thingy. Um, and this set comes with Kai, Ronin, and then some more ghost figures, and Ronin looks pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, there's just the box. And then, um, this is going to be $50, by the way. Um, there is the vehicle itself, um, and then you do get a little baby Moro dragon in here, which is pretty cool, and some of these nice Chima pieces in new colors, and lots of glow-in-the-dark and dark blue on these new dragons, guys. And then we've got, uh, Ronin down there, you kind of, it's kind of hard to see him since his, uh, he's been tipped over, but, yeah, you can sort of see some of the details on him, and he looks pretty cool. Uh, and I'm assuming the set will be based off of the Shadow of Ronin video game or something. Um, and then one of the ghost minifigures down there. And some chicken? Okay. Um, and then next up we have the Titan Mech Battle. And this thing, I really like the look of this thing, honestly, guys. It's got, uh, well, let's just show you. It, it, get, it gets, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes with Zane's mech here, with Zane in it, of course. And that's a really nice looking mech, guys. I actually really like it. Um, kind of reminds me of Galaxy Squad in some ways, but yeah, lots of you know white and silver on it, as you would expect um, for some for a Zane set. And uh, yeah, nice. It looks very well articulated. Um, well, it doesn't appear to have knees, but I don't think that's too big of an issue. Um, yeah, and you've got spinner crowns on it, which you, we've been seeing those a lot over the past few years on uh, Ninjago sets that aren't spinners. Um, and then you've got the Moro mech, which is four-armed. It's got glow-in-the-dark uh, construction figure swords, it appears, and some uh, trans-neon green CCBS bone pieces, which is cool. Um, yeah, it appears uh, the minifigure will sort of just sort of uh, go in the stomach area. But, yeah. And then down here we've got Jay and Nia fighting off some bad guys there. Nia's got one of the new spring-loaded shooter harp, uh, not harpoon, uh, grappling hook pieces for her little cannon. Um, and that appears to be the same kind of version of Nia that we get in the Ninja DBX, if I'm not wrong. And uh, Jay looks pretty cool there with his nunchucks. Also, Purple Sensei Wu hat. Um, and then we've got the Attack of the Moro Dragon, and this thing looks epic. This is a really big dragon, um, by the way, guys. It, it's huge. I I haven't seen it in person, obviously, because I'm not at New York Toy Fair, but yeah. So we've got Kai and Jay um, there, and then uh, they both have their big shuriken thingies. Um, 
And there's something glowing back here in this little, like, temple area, so I wonder what that is. Um, but yeah, again, lots of glow in the dark and such on here. Uh, the wings appear to be, like, sort of a papery cloth material or something like that. Um, and then it appears that, uh, in this set, Lloyd is, like, turned evil or something, because that's definitely going to be Lloyd, um, the minifigure shown riding the dragon there. But, uh, yep. So, uh, there is a close-up of the dragon and, uh, evil Lloyd or whatever riding it. Again, lots of glow-in-the-dark and dark blue. I really like that. And then, uh, just another angle on that. And then we've got some of the minifigures down here. So you get three, like, ghost-type minifigures, two of the little mini-ghosts, and then Kai and Jay on their matching hoverboards, which I think are pretty cool-looking. Um, nice little touch. And then you've got, like, this little temple area with some sort of jewel in it and uh, some weapons in various places throughout. And then, uh, not finally, but almost finally, we have the final flight of Destiny's Bounty. And this thing is absolutely humongous. It's probably going to be $120, $130. But, wow, I mean, and I thought the old Destiny's Bounty from 2012 was cool. But uh, this one comes with nine minifigures, which is, I think, the most out of any Ninjago set ever. Um, so you've got Lloyd, not evil, just normal. Uh, you've got... A new ninja, which I, I think it's Nia. Everyone else, a lot of people think it's Nia because um, it's got the dark red. And the theory is that that uh, azure color on her is because. So basically, the theory is that um, since uh, you know Nia and Kai's mo uh, father was the master of fire, and that's where Kai got his powers for fire. But the theory is that their mother, or common theory is that their mother was the master of water, and then Nia get got her powers from her mother and um, becomes the master of water at some point or something. Uh, Sensei Wu is also included, and Cole as well. Cole comes in a lot of sets this way, I gotta say. Um, and then a bunch of various ghosts and a sort of what I would consider to be a teenage <laughs> dragon there. Teenage Moro dragon. Um, but the bounty itself looks pretty cool, so let's take a look at that. So uh, there's the dragon. Uh, that looks pretty cool. I like I like how they've got like different sizes of dragons through spread throughout this wave. Just another angle of that. And then the ship itself is pretty big actually. Uh there's the sails there looking very nice. Um and then just another picture of the ship there. You can see you got some control consoles, some weapon storage, some uh stud shooters, lots of cool stuff going on. And uh back there you can see what was there? I think that's Nia's hair back there, potentially. So, that may be one uh, bit of evidence that the new ninja right there is Nia. And uh, there's just another look at the set. And then the final set here is the Blaster Bike. Um, this is going to be a $20 set, and uh, it comes with Cole and some ghost minifigure. Um, Cole has his large shuriken thing. And he's got this, like, bike with, like, a bunch of stud shooters on it. So that's cool. Like, the rapid stud shooters has two of those. Um, yeah, $20 set. There's a close-up of the little baby dragon that comes with it and uh, the minifigure that will be riding it. Very cool. really like those new blades right there. And then there's Cole standing next to the bike. Same version of Cole that came in the... Um, Oh, what was it? The... I think the Destiny's Bounty. Yeah, the Destiny's Bounty set, and then the, uh... Other thing that came in that I can't remember which one it was. Uh, but, yeah. And then, just another angle of the bike. I think, yeah. Yep. That's it. So, uh, anyway, guys. That's gonna do it for this Thoughts video. Overall, Ninjago is shaping up to be one of my favorite themes for 2015, honestly, because these sets look really great. I mean... Ninjago is really becoming really good, like a really good theme this year. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to all these new sets. And, uh, yeah, be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And, um, definitely stay tuned for more thoughts videos from New York.
Toy Fair 2015. And by the way, guys, pretty, almost all of these images I got from toyark.com, so I will link to the Ninjago, uh, I will link to where I got these photos in the description so you can check them out in more detail. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will... <laughs>